I love cleaning hacks. And I mean, who doesn't? Anything that makes cleaning easier is A-OK -okay in my books. These little bite-sized cleaning tips are also always very popular videos around here at Clean My Space. So this week I'm reaching into my bag of tricks and pulling out five freshly minted cleaning hacks for you to enjoy. So without further ado, let's get hacking. These handy little notes are perfect for reminding you to do something, but did you know they also serve as a keyboard cleaner? That's right, before you throw out your sticky note, and here's a great way to reduce, recycle, and reuse, utilize that remaining stickiness to capture some of the nastiness that's residing in your keyboard. Just run the sticky side along your keys in the keyboard and you might actually surprise yourself with how much dust, dirt, hair, and other miscellaneous bric-a-brac you find now stuck to the paper. A bonus tip for all you gamers out there, take a sticky note and fold it in half, then fold it in half again, and now you have yourself a precision controller cleaner. Just use the corner of the sticky note to get into cracks and crevices on your controllers, but I do warn you gamers, what gets pulled out of these tight spaces is pretty nasty, so just be prepared for that. Now this hack doubles as a magic trick that will make you the life of any cocktail party or bar mitzvah. Get yourself a whiteboard, a permanent marker, and some dry erase markers. I'm going to draw a blue box on the whiteboard using permanent marker, a sharpie. I'll even color it in, and using this tissue, I will prove to you just how permanent this marker really is. Next, I'll take this humble dry erase marker and color over the blue box, and magically, I use a tissue to wipe both markers away. Pretty amazing, huh? And it works with any marker color too. This also works on dry erase marker that you can no longer erase off the board. One of the funkiest things in your kitchen is probably sitting beside your sink, right now, your sponge. And since it's designed to suck up all the crud on your counters and in your sink and on your stove, it ends up harboring germs and bacteria in its inner pores, and no matter how much you wring it out, your sponge remains a stanky mess. Well, lucky for all of us, there is a quick and easy fix which easily kills 99% of all bacteria in there, and all you need is a microwave-safe bowl and a microwave. Just soak your sponge in water. This is a really important step. Your sponge must be sopping, soaking wet. Put that in the bowl, put the bowl in the microwave, set the timer to two minutes on high power, and give your sponge the spa treatment it deserves. Now remember, if your sponge has any metal in it whatsoever, do not put it in the microwave. That is a situation we are not trained to deal with here at Clean My Space. Once the two minutes is up, give the sponge some well-deserved alone time. A couple of extra minutes will do, just enough time for the sponge to cool down, then you can throw it right back into high rotation. I shared this hack in our post sick cleaning video and thought it was too good not to mention again, especially with allergy season here. Simply take an empty tissue box and attach it to your current tissue box using a couple of rubber bands or some tape, and voila, you have yourself a handy tissue receptacle. This is especially helpful when you have a runny nose and you are flying through tissues. Where I live, it's illegal to sell chemical weed killers, which means we have to get a little creative when dealing with the jungle of weeds that we experience each summer. And here's a weed we've been cultivating in our backyard in a planter. Classy. Fortunately, I have a quick and easy recipe which handles my weeds with ease. And all you need to do is fill a spray bottle with about a cup of vinegar. The stronger the concentrate, the better and a couple of squirts of dish liquid. Shake it up and hit those weeds. 
do be careful. Vinegar will kill the weeds, but it'll also kill plants, flowers, and any other vegetation, including grass, that you may have. So watch the overspray, and you might even want to consider watering down the solution to start, and then increase the potency after you see the results. And remember to use the jet stream function, or the stream function, on your spray bottle, as opposed to the mist function, so that you can get laser focus on where you want the vinegar to go. All right, Clean My Space Nation, now it's your turn. We want to know what your favorite cleaning tips, tricks, and hacks are, so why not share them with the whole class by leaving us a comment down below. Yours might show up in one of our future hack videos. You can also find a whole host of cleaning hacks over at cleanmyspace.com slash hacks. We also have three other hack videos which I will link down below for you. And we are just about to release the latest issue of The Dirty Dish, our cleaning newsletter which is available exclusively to those who sign up over at cleanmyspace.com. Links below for you to click or tap. It is jam-packed full of cleaning tips, tricks, and yes, more cleaning hacks for your reading enjoyment. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video. And if you'd like to start your journey to a cleaner life, why not click this button right here and subscribe to catch all of our cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.